In Flat Earther news, mm -hmm. submitted by Jomalian Monk. Oh, teach the religion. A self-taught rocket scientist plans to launch himself into the sky to prove the Earth is flat. Perfect. A self-taught scientist, huh? I love that. Rocket scientist, yep. How the, how's he gonna prove that? Mm -hmm. With a self-made rocket. So he has to go up himself without the assistance of NASA and then take a look at the Earth. You know, he could probably do that with those really high, hot air balloons. Yeah, so he, so this man, his name is Mad Mike Hughes. That's not a great name for a scientist. He's a mad scientist. Ah. Oh. Yeah. And so he's planning to go up 1,800 feet above the Mojave Desert in his homemade rocket. That sounds like a terrible idea. Traveling at speed of 500 miles per hour. So, first of all, if you guys don't know, this is what flat earthers believe our Earth looks like. So they believe it's How do they know that? I don't know, they just believe that. That's just their theory? Yeah, so they believe that the Earth is a disk, and they believe that all of the Earth's edge is icebergs, or icebergs, and then so inside is where the sun and the moon circulate, mm. and they just go... Oh, so so the do they think of it as a disk, or is it like a slight dome shape? No, I, also, I also see north and south, so I thought it was like the edges are kind of a little bit south of the center. Mm. Or is it just Wait. south or our south? I yeah. think it's our south. I see. South, 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 everything is south. They don't believe in north, west, or east. <laughs> I, think, I think they're trying to show the in, in relation what, what our south looks like to them. Mm. Mm. So what we think is Antarctica, they think it's just a ring of ice. Yeah. I, I think exactly. that's what they're trying to say. Yeah, and so like with he, what Mad Mike is trying to prove is like, he, well he's trying to go I'm into, convinced. The, into the atmos flat, not atmosphere, into the at, atmos flat. Ooh. And so go up She's in there. showing us. And then see like the entire flat earth and that he's gonna prove that every astronaut, every NASA person, just everyone in the world is just lying about the fact oh, that yeah. we live, live on this earth. I have a question. What the fuck is on the other side? I don't know. I don't know the what they believe. How, wouldn't it be easier for him just to go all the way to the end? Well, like, they're saying that it's like, because a lot of the parts where there's icebergs and stuff, they don't let you visit it. It's like only if you're a scientist or a researcher, then you can go to like Antarctica and stuff. But you know how they could prove it? Get a plane, go to Antarctica, and see if you could wrap around the other side. Yeah, how come he can't just go into a plane and fly it himself and just keep going? That's the, cause that'll prove it. If you go straight in a straight line, right? Due south. And if you continue going off into the abyss, then that's what happens. It's a flat. But if you wrap a fucking round, like this. I didn't even, you're a fucking poet. You had a fucking in between wrap a fucking round. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> fucking poetic. <laughs> Yeah, so this is Mad Mike and his homemade rocket. Holy shit. <laughs> is that him standing there? Yeah. That Wait, is he photoshopped? That rocket ain't gonna get you into space, dude. Yeah. What the fuck is that? That's a bobsled on with, with a firecracker. Well, he's not really trying to... <laughs> <laughs> he's not trying to really go into space. He's going into the Atmos flat. I don't even know what the hell that is. Well, because they don't believe in spheres. Ah. Uh, that's, that's not even gonna be tall enough to take a picture to show that it is flat, though. Yeah, well, that's what he's playing though. This oh, is the other God. another side of it. Well, good for him. Pursue yeah. your passions, bro. Yeah, so he was supposed to already launch his rocket, but he ended up postponing it because he started having mechanical issues and also like legal issues because he needs a permit of some permits of some sort. Oh, he found that out later. Fuck the permits, just do it, homie. Prove the world. Question okay. is, who's gonna pay for the funeral? That's a good question. He'll Burn up in the. That's just. Well, tight. he says like. Is he expecting to fly that thing back down too, or is it just gonna drop down? There has to be like a parachute or some shit or some kind of. Yeah. What if they're right? Then I what? The, then the world goes flat. Yeah. yeah. What if? What if they're right and they're like, see, I told you guys. Then I'll be like, cool. Now we know. Now in my brain, it's flat now. Awesome. Yeah, yeah moving on. So it doesn't really affect yeah. you. I don't know. Order a yeah. Number two. Because I don't understand. The only reason, not the only reason, aside from science. What is the purpose of telling everybody else that the world's a sphere? Yeah. Like, what is the what is the government's agenda to let us believe that the world? That's is how a they sphere. control us, David. You don't even know. They keep us controlled because a circle is not a square. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> but once you fucking find out that it's a flat surface, oh man, 
chaos. So they have to do this circle shit. I'm really curious as to what they think is like under us then. then how yeah, I haven't thought that far. How come when people Maybe. fly, they go this around and they go back here? I don't, you know what I mean? They go back around, shouldn't they just fall off and die? No, well, there's, that's what they're saying, that the whole earth is just like this. Oh, so they're just going from destination yeah. to destination, destination. Like the funny thing is if you look at like flight routes and stuff, if that logic was correct, then it would take a very, very long time for this place to get to this place. Like, it doesn't make no sense. Wouldn't it be shorter? Yeah, that's, that's or, or it was shorter or longer. The, so they, like, whatever, the way that they're flying right now, uh -huh. it doesn't make sense in this world. Oh. Yeah. So they think the sun revolves around the earth? That's yeah. what they think? What about the other planets? They don't believe that, they don't believe that other planets exist, I guess. So do they think it's a half circle? No, it's like a disc. Kind of like a frisbee. Disc. It's just flat. Why? But what's on the other side then of that disc? Just exactly. roots of all the plants sticking out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you pull out fucking a tree and it's just little dangly roots like yeah. that. This is why uh, robots are gonna take us over. Because like no matter how much technology and education and things we have, there's always gonna be fucking morons. Yep. And that's all humans are, fucking morons with technology. Yeah, playing Mafia taught me that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I personally don't give a fuck. And how come all these flat earthers always look like that? Crazy. Like, I want like a flat earther to be like Elon Musk. You know what I mean? Then there might be some validity to it. But there's these people who are all self-taught scientists, you know, and they're the ones that are these flat earther believers. So unless like somebody of like real, like accreditation, says it then maybe i'll look into it well it can't they can't because if you think about it right like to have such a radical thought you can't really like i think just by nature you already don't look like the norm so you're already gonna stick out like no but elon musk better, sticks out but he's a genius branding. yeah they every flat better. earther i feel like has that you know the janitor like key on the waist that you could pull it out and there's a fucking chain that connects yeah. like 500 keys i feel yeah. like every flat earther has that isn't a, a famous basketball player a flat, flat earther? A lot of people. Chris Paul, I believe oh. he's a flat earther. I bet they all got those keys. Yeah. B.O.B., the keys. rapper. Yeah, see, none of these flat people earthers. are of any form Tila of like tequila. high intellect. <laughs> yeah. You see what I'm saying? If Tila Tequila's on your side, dang. She's not really helping your little uh, situation. Eh? Anybody that says they're a flat earther, I automatically assume you have an IQ of lower than 80. If you're a flat earther, I automatically assume you pee in your sink. Like, that's what I <laughs> Because you don't want the government to know. Yeah. That's the type of person that you are. You piss I them. love conspiracy theories, and some of them I believe in, but a flat earther is just on the other side of town. Yeah. yeah. You, like, know? you guys know Neil deGrasse? He's on Netflix, and he does the, uh, the space video. Yeah, so he ended up tweeting this recently that everyone loved. It's this image of the moon and, like, a disc, and it says, A lunar eclipse flat earthers have never seen. That moon looks like a gangster on Instagram with a black bar across its eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if our Earth was flat, this is what the, a lunar eclipse would look like. But it's not. But yeah, this guy, he ended up going viral with his, with his claim that he's going to be going up into the atmosphere. I want flat. NASA, I want, what I want NASA to do is to give him money and allow him to create it so he could go up. What a waste, why? He's well, he's already space. almost there. Trust me. It's not a waste. Not That's though. good entertainment. Yeah. That's uh, Can you imagine the look on the motherfucker's face after he goes up and he realizes it's a sphere, he comes down and he's like, fuck dude, you just fucking destroyed this man's dreams and we're, we could all laugh. Yeah. It's gonna be, it's like the best reality show ever. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like this guy is kind of faking it that he's a flat earther because he previously launched a rocket in 2014. He went up 1,374 feet. But then the G force was too much, and then so he he ended up needing three days to recover from that whole thing because it ended up crashing down. And I don't know the point. And then back then he wasn't a flat earther, and so now he became a flat. From what I understand, he to became a flat earther to get funding. Oh, so other like, flat earthers. Oh, that's, that's he's a troll. Like. That's what it seems like. No, what if underlyingly he's always wanted to be an astronaut, but he could never do it. And so mm. by going this way, he can actually achieve his dream. Because he was too stupid, huh? Yeah. I could kind of see that. If you could never be an astronaut from before, you should probably just stay away from it. Yeah. Because if you can't handle the G-force, you're just going to die. How, how, how old is he? Um, 
He looks like he's like 60. Yeah, a solid 60 years old. If he goes up and he explodes, he lived a good life. You could probably look for another hobby. Try to perfect barbecue beans or something. Yeah, Why does his something. fucking rocket look like a fucking sail sign? Those guys are spinning shit. <laughs> yeah. like, what the fuck is it? You know what I mean? That shit looks like a piece of shit. Yeah, it looks like one of those things where you see the guy just. <laughs> <laughs> they don't mention okay. his age, so I'm not sure. Yes, I kind of want to ride it. In like, like the ones where you like put like quarters in and then there's like a little rocket. No, <laughs> no, like I want to. Like yeah, it looks like one of those janky. That's such a cute look. No, is your mind everything is cute? But then this, I wanna, I wanna ride it like, whoosh, like this way, uh, not, not up, because this is death. This is. Whoosh. That's a wee. Yeah, that's a wee. <laughs> Good on him though. I'm glad that you have a hobby, and I'm glad that you probably don't have friends too. <laughs>